scientists just discovered a lake in Antarctica that flips everything we thought we knew about life on Earth. They drilled through thick ice and found liquid water where everything should be frozen solid. And inside this water, there is life. I mean actual living organisms thriving in the dark, untouched for ages. The story starts with an expedition that added a new, super important spot to the Antarctica map. Between November 2019 and January 2020, researchers trekking across the frozen desolation reached an area called Enigma Lake. They thought they were walking over a huge slab of solid ice, but their gear showed something different. So they used a powerful drill to get through the ice, peered beneath layer after layer, and detected at least 40 feet of liquid water trapped under the surface. They came looking for a rock, but found a hidden world under ice in this Antarctica lake, where they would least expect it. The scientists were shocked and didn't stop at this discovery. They wanted to know where all hmm. this water came from, because in this part of Antarctica, the climate is ruthless. Extreme temperature, low precipitation, punishing winds, and solar evaporation aren't exactly perfect conditions for a lake. Any fresh water was supposed to have dried up long ago. So there had to be a source for refills for a subglacial lake in Antarctica like this one. The researchers looked at the chemical composition of the salts and dissolved materials in the water. They noticed some patterns that pointed to a source. It looked like the nearby glacier was feeding the lake via some underground pathway nobody expected to exist. So there it is, an amazing Antarctica discovery hidden beneath ice, fed not from rain or surface melting, but from an underground flow that circles the Earth in silence. And because of that, when the team drilled deeper, they didn't just find water, they found a secret ecosystem. Life, where they thought there couldn't be any. Now, by life, here, I don't mean the kind that waves at us. I mean tiny creatures, tiny structures, microbial communities that evolved in isolation, shielded by the ice, and pretty restricted to their hidden home. They cover the lake bed in microbial mats, not just blobs of algae, but complex, carpet-like mats of microorganisms. Some mats look like thin, spiky coverings, others like thick, crumpled carpets or even tree-like structures up to 15 inches tall. And these formations, looking straight out of a sci-fi movie about life on distant planets, aren't random specks of DNA floating in water. They are thriving, building structures, layering, changing over time. So the lake bed is kind of like a forest floor, only it's dark, cold, and covered by ice. If life can flourish under 45 feet of ice in near darkness, maybe our ideas of where it can exist need updating. And we don't know what happens when we disturb this hidden lake ecosystem. What if we inject humans, machinery, or even our breath into the mix? These microbes have lived isolated for who knows how many millennia, maybe even millions of years, without any exposure to the world above. If humans mess with them, these organisms could be at serious risk when they meet microbes they had never met before. The lake could get contaminated, and its ecosystem could change for good. As we step into this new territory, we must be extra cautious. After all, the entire Antarctica is like a book of secrets of evolution, adaptation, and survival that we must read carefully. This continent keeps surprising us. Animals that were never seen before turn up in its remote corners, from bizarre sea creatures to ice-loving insects you didn't know existed. For example, the ice-loving sea anemone scientists spotted hanging upside down from the underside of the Ross ice shelf. It looks like a delicate flower glued to the ceiling, waving its tentacles into water as cold as a bad breakup. Researchers steered a robot under the ice and found a brand new species. Then there's the celebrity newcomer with serious red carpet energy, the Antarctic strawberry feather star. This floating pom-pom can have up to 20 arms. It got its nickname because the body looks, you guessed it, strawberry-ish. And oh, I guess Antarctica is the last place where you'd expect to see a fish nursery, but it has the largest known one in the whole world. Researchers were there towing their cameras along the Weddell Sea seabed to map it when they spotted thousands, then millions of identical bowls in the sediment. 
The nests covered 93 square miles of seafloor, and there were a total of 60 million of them, one every 10 inches. All the nests belonged to ice fish. These creatures are white-blooded, meaning they don't have hemoglobin, the stuff that makes blood red, and somehow they still managed to survive in water cold enough to shatter your soul. Every nest had a parent fish sitting guard over about 1,700 eggs. Turns out, Weddell seals feast on ice fish, so this massive breeding ground isn't just a nursery, it's also a buffet for the neighborhood predators. And speaking of buffets, the ice fish themselves feed from a warm upwelling that pulls up nutrients and microscopic zooplankton. It's all pretty cool that the ice fish colony has a hard edge, a literal line in the sand. The edge of that border matches perfectly with the outer rim of the warm upwelling, which looks like a carefully crafted evolutionary trick. Another Antarctica discovery that shocked scientists wasn't a cool-looking fish or a dinosaur bone, but something probably even more important for science. Bubbles. Tiny ancient bubbles trapped inside what might be the oldest ice ever brought up to daylight, nearly 1.2 million years old. Before this discovery, researchers had recorded climate history going back 800,000 years, but they wanted more. They spent years searching for the perfect spot where ice could tell the story straight through. Some Antarctic regions hold ice even older, maybe 3 or 4 million years. But it's patchy, and they needed a continuous record. When they finally drilled into the right spot, they found crystal clear ice cores with bubbles that trapped the atmosphere of Earth as it was hundreds of thousands of years ago. When scientists analyze the air inside, they're not just studying gases. They can tell what our distant ancestors inhaled, what the planet exhaled, and how the rhythm of life and climate played out long before us. The period around 900,000 years ago, the same time sealed inside this ice, may have been one of humanity's closest calls. According to genetic studies, the human population shrank to about 1,300 individuals on the entire planet. Nobody knows what exactly led to this, but it could have been the climate. So these ancient bubbles might hold the clues we need to understand how our ancestors survived one of the toughest chapters in Earth's story. And maybe how we can survive the next. Because, you know, the planet keeps repeating itself in new and uncomfortable ways. And Antarctica has lessons to teach us. One lesson we might learn the hard way has to do with what's under its ice. Scientists recently found that there's something brewing beneath Antarctica that's anything but chill. There might be volcanoes there, quietly waiting for their moment. Yeah, you heard it correctly. Volcanoes, the hot, fiery kind sitting under miles of ice. The team used computer simulations and found that when parts of the ice melt, the pressure holding those volcanoes down eases up. And boom! They could start melting even more ice from below. It's like a self-feeding loop of chaos. The ice melts, volcano wakes up, then more ice melts. Even if humans stopped affecting the climate conditions on the planet tomorrow, that chain reaction could keep going. Because it's not just about the air. It's about the fire hiding underneath. The scariest part is that this kind of melt could raise sea levels way more than we thought. And since Antarctica has over 70% of all the freshwater reserves on Earth, you can imagine the drama level it could lead to. So you see now that Antarctica map is like a real-life board game for humans. And we must be careful studying and playing it. The South Pole is more than penguins and endless snow. There's a hidden ghost world within it. Look, it's right here on the globe. Don't confuse Antarctica with the Arctic, which is at the top of our maps. Much smaller in size, and let's face it, way less mysterious. The ice sheet covering Antarctica is about 1 to 3 miles thick, which is up to 16 Eiffel Towers stacked on each other. This massive blanket hides the true features and contours of Antarctica's land. We still don't know much about this mysterious continent, and it is ice and snow that are to blame. We still don't even know the true shape and size of this continent. Mapping Antarctica without some huge shovels is an incredibly hard task. But satellites learn to penetrate the ice with their cameras. And now we know there's actually an enormous, dramatic ancient landscape beneath the snow. The ghost of the past.
About 90 million years ago, Antarctica was a much warmer place. It was actually a lush rainforest with tons of plants and probably teeming with life. It even had rivers flowing through it. Then the ice came. This happened about 34 million years ago, during the transition from the Eocene to the Oligocene, when our planet cooled significantly. It was the beginning of one of our several ice ages. The land remained, but now was hidden under ice and snow that got thicker and thicker. To a regular eye, Antarctica turned into a white desert, vast, flat, and featureless. Time went on. This massive ice sheet moved around, smoothing and shifting the ground beneath it. Over the millions of years, it changed what the land looked like. Now, if we looked under the ice, it wouldn't hold any signs of the original South Pole, except for one place. In areas where the ice is especially thick and doesn't move much, like in East Antarctica, it has actually worked the other way around. It became like a super thick blanket that protects the land. Normally, things like wind or rain slowly wear away the ground over time, changing its shape. But since we have this protective ice blanket, it prevents these natural processes from reaching the stuff underneath. So, the ground stayed almost the same for millions of years, like it's been frozen in time. This special area near the Aurora and Schmidt subglacial basins has become the ghost of Antarctica's landscape. This place was barely touched even since it was first covered in snow 34 million years ago. This is a historical footprint, a place that can tell us what Antarctica's ground looked like before it became a freezing nightmare. As scientists peered under East Antarctica, they saw an amazing ghost. The traces of the rivers that were flowing there millions of years ago, various valleys, and some weird little islands as well as three big chunks of land shaped like the letter U. Hey, what's that all about? You see, the continents on our planet are moving constantly, sliding along the red-hot lava mantle like cereal on milk. Over history, they came together and broke apart several times. Hundreds of millions of years ago, several continents were a part of one enormous Gondwana. Antarctica was one of them. It used to be one huge landmass. But when Gondwana broke apart, the poor continent got stretched by tectonic forces. Parts of land were pulled away from each other. Whoosh! And they got torn apart. And that's how we got these big chunks or blocks of land under thick layers of ice. In any case, scientists now want to explore this ghost a bit more. But to study it deeply, they need to actually drill down through the ice like using a straw to get to the bottom of a thick shake. This will help them pick up some rocks and dirt from way below to learn more about the Earth's history and climate. Antarctica is the fifth largest continent in the world, approximately bigger than the entirety of Europe or Australia, competing with the entire South America in size. Aside from East Antarctica, we discussed there are several more regions. Antarctica Peninsula, South Pole, West Antarctica, and the Ross Sea. The continent is basically a frozen sandbox, and all its hidden, mysterious landscape is actually less explored than Mars's terrain. We only know for sure that without ice, it wouldn't just be flat and empty, but an entire world full of big mountains, huge canyons, and even fiery volcanoes. Some of these volcanoes are so huge that they peak above the layers of snow. In West Antarctica alone, there are at least 138 volcanoes, though only about 8 or 9 are active today. One of the craziest ones is Mount Erebus, the southernmost volcano and the tallest one on the continent, about 12 and a half thousand feet high. And deep beneath the ice sheet, this guy hosts incredible beautiful subvolcanic caves. The temperatures there are warm enough for t-shirts. The Antarctic Peninsula, or Lesser Antarctica, looks like a bunch of mountainous islands deeply underground. It has newer volcanic rocks that are part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, which is like a giant circle of volcanoes and earthquake zones around the Pacific Ocean. The Greater Antarctica is a huge part, almost as big as Australia, 
It consists of East Antarctica and the South Pole. Beneath the ice, it's a place of rocks that have been around for a very, very long time, including the special zone we mentioned. You probably know that Antarctica is nearly devoid of humans. No wonder, with a mean temperature of about minus 46 degrees Fahrenheit. But even though this place is horrifyingly cold and deserted, life still clings on. You guessed it, in the underworld. In 2017, scientists found DNA traces of algae, moss, and even possibly unknown small animals in the deep caves. That means that even in such crazy conditions, there are still unique ecosystems thriving in little isolated warm pockets beneath the snow. There was another incredible find beneath Antarctica's Ross Ice Shelf, a lively ecosystem vibing within an underground river. Scientists have long suspected that Antarctica's underworld should have some freshwater lakes and rivers. One day, a satellite spotted a groove there. They decided to explore it and used a hot water drill to melt their way through the ice. As they reached the underworld, they dropped a camera into one of those hidden fresh rivers. And at first, they thought they'd find just some rocks or something. But instead, they stumbled upon hundreds of amphipods, tiny shrimp-like creatures. Little ones instantly swarmed around the lens. Shrimps blocked the camera and scientists couldn't check out what they wanted to. Pretty funny. But at least that means that there really is an important ecosystem deep within Antarctica. Now, they're going to explore it. And all this is just the beginning of the mysterious underworld. Antarctica's snow also hides the deepest canyon on Earth under the Denman Glacier. Well, Mariana Trench is still the deepest point on Earth, but it's a part of the oceanic crust, geologically speaking. Also, in 1958, Explorers found a huge mountain range under the ice, as big and tall as the famous Alps Mountains. The range stretched for about 745 miles with peaks as high as 1.7 miles. And all this magnificence is buried under tons of ice. Who knows what else we might find there? Antarctica holds about 60% of our entire planet's fresh water, which means it would be pretty bad if it melted. For example, there's this Doomsday Glacier, officially known as Thwaites Glacier. It's a huge ice formation, about the size of Florida, and it's melting right now. Every year, the sea levels rise by 4% because of it. If this guy melts away completely, the sea levels all around the world will increase by 2 feet, which might not sound like a lot, but it would be catastrophic for coastal areas. Luckily. Researchers have found that even if its ice shelf were to collapse in the next 50 years, the glacier itself wouldn't retreat as quickly as they feared. It's still losing ice rapidly, but it would be quite a slow process. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share.